welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica from the blog ThriftyMamaHarding.com. In today's video, I get to share with you guys a office makeover. However, for those that have watched my previous videos, you would notice that my dining room used to be a bedroom. So we converted that to a dining room because when we bought our house, we had no good place to put like a kitchen table. So in that extra bedroom, was a spare closet and for a little bit we used it for storage and then I tried to convert it into an office area but it turned out to be storage once again <laughs> so with me starting my YouTube and my blogging business I had to make something that was going to be functional that I can use that I can find everything that I need that's more appeasing to work at so in this video I'm going to show you how I took our closet to an office so I hope you enjoy this it's so good to be back I know it's been a long time since I posted a video I have been in a season of learning here lately I have been trying to figure out my computer my camera I've been playing around on my camera trying to learn things about my camera where I can make the most out of my photography I went from not knowing anything about a computer at all to all of a sudden being a YouTuber. <laughs> so it's been a process that, I mean, there's just been so much going on. There's things I had to get done around my house that was just honestly a lot easier to just go ahead and do rather than carrying a camera behind me. So there's things I had to take care of. Um, but I'm excited to post this video for you guys today. I love making these videos. I really appreciate you guys being here. If you're new and enjoy my content, please be sure to subscribe. Subscribing supports my channel and it helps me to continue to make these videos for you guys. So if you're new here, subscribe. I'd love to have you. For all my people who have already been here, thank you for sticking with me. <laughs> um, I feel like I've come a long way since my first YouTube video. I'm learning a lot. I'm feeling a lot more confident in front of the camera. So there's just a lot that <laughs> that's been going on, but I'm excited to jump into this makeover for you. I hope you enjoy it. One of the things that's going to make this project a little more trickier is the fact that I want a tabletop that's going to come from one side of the wall all the way over to the other. However, we're dealing with this air intake vent, so that cannot be moved so this is going to be something that i'm going to be working around i try to clean up these cords here as well i just have like an extension cord kind of running all this stuff so we're going to make this a lot more functional this is where i just threw things i did not have a home for <laughs> gonna be a tight fit but I think we can make it work. closet I have a shelf I have the bar which I'm gonna get rid of I'm not gonna need this bar however there is two separate pieces of wood here that is already sized to the length of the closet that I'm gonna take apart and use as two shelves so I'll probably do like a shelf up here and a shelf in the middle then down here I'll have my desktop 
I think that'll turn out pretty good. I gotta find some way to anchor those shelves. I'm gonna have to tear all this out. my closet is completely cleaned out I need to start thinking about paint colors I'm gonna check in my shed to see what paint colors I have left over and see if I can work with that I need to actually decide on the best paint color that I'm gonna use because I don't know yet <laughs> I want to make this a vintage I guess I should say office it's gonna have some vintage items in it some vintage decker. So I'm gonna keep my eyes out for these things. Let's see what I can find. All right, friends, it is currently the next morning. I am in town. I'm getting ready to stop into Lowe's. So I was planning on using paint that I already had in the storage shed. However, when I went to get it, it it went bad. I need, I definitely, it was, there's like bubbles all in it and all that stuff. I don't even know how that happened. But, so I am going to go into Lowe's and get some fresh paint for my closet makeover. Um, but before that, I'm going to stop and get some coffee from Starbucks. Mm. This is the best. It is a venti vanilla sweet cream cold brew and you must get the cold foam on top because it so good coffee and shopping is the best combo hands down so much to choose from here i go naturally leaning towards the green I do have my heart set on Clary Sage. So I'm just kind of seeing what other options there are, but I'm more than likely going to get Clary Sage. This is the Clary Sage color I planned on going with. I just love that. It's like the perfect sage green. Y'all, look at these two together. That is like perfect fall colors right there. While I'm waiting on my paint to mix, I'm going to look at different ways I can hang my shelves. Look at all these fancy ways to hang, but they're so expensive. This right here would be awesome. I found these right here. Super cheap. $3 a piece. I got some 
Rust-Oleum Vintage Gold that I'm going to spray paint them along with my Clary Sage paint color. I'm excited. Okay friends, I just got back from Lowe's with my paint and supplies. I went ahead and taped everything off in the closet and I sanded down the spots that I spackled yesterday. So we're ready to paint. We're ready for the fun part. Again, this is Clary Sage by Sherwin Williams. I have one of my husband's tubs of snuff. It actually works great for putting paint in. Every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. So hold me tight through the night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just us two. Instead of going out and purchasing a desktop, I got creative and remembered that we had this folding table in our storage shed. After measuring, I discovered that this table was the perfect length. 
however, was just a few inches too deep for what I needed. After sawing off a couple inches, it was the perfect fit for my office space. It was also perfect for that awkward space where the air intake vent was because I could leave the legs up on that one side. This is what it looks like with the table. I still got a little bit more work to do to make this look even better. So if you're doing this in your own closet, you could actually have both legs down. Unfortunately, this air conditioning thing is in the way, so I have to make do kind of with what I got. But I have some ways that I can still make this look even better. But I love how large the table is. It's going to give me lots of room. I'm going to be able to use my printer on top of it and my laptop and all of my supplies for filming and editing and all that stuff. So I truly love this so far. I can't wait to show you guys the final reveal.